What's going on you lot? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go on a little adventure for a few reasons. Firstly, I want to take a look at a location for an upcoming potential project I've got lined up that I'm really excited about. Secondly, I've got hardly any content. In fact, I've got no content for the car page, so I need to get some more content for that. But let's go. So, we're here. This is probably not the best location to start filming, which is quite loud, the road just there. But, you might have to see it in the background, that cheeky little sign just there. The old McLaren factory in Sheffield. If you're from the area, you probably know where this is. Uh, this is where I'm thinking about doing the project. I'm gonna scout out some more locations now. I've just had a quick drive around um, the buildings all look to be a, around the same design, which is quite cool. We'll go to a quiet location and we'll talk you through the kind of shots I'm thinking about taking. But for all the triggered people that you couldn't hear the car exhaust, I know they pissed me off as well. There it is, purring away. Which above the other location. So we're here, just abandoning the car, and um, that's not where I take photos exactly where we'll take photos we are taking them here though i've chosen this place over this entire like industrial estate keep going to industrial estates don't i this one i've been meaning to come to for a while and someone mentioned it to me today and i was like you know what fuck it let's go need some content i needed to get out of the house i was driving myself insane by not getting out not taking photos you know the old deal hopefully it's not too loud i think people actually work in well, the factories are still open because there's quite a lot of noise hopefully you guys can't hear it but i chose this spot over the rest of the um, factories because they all look kind of the same but i think the windmills let me just darken this a little bit there and one main reason that i chose it over the others is just for this building there is others that I have scrapped out because I've done a little quick look drive around here already before I parked up is this building here and you see that with the, the angled glass and you can't see it, really see it too well but that sign's yellow and I just think it looks really cool and um, this is uh, the place where I'm going to scout out for the future project which hopefully will be getting to motion pretty soon but yeah, I'll take some snaps, I'll talk you through what I was thinking after and I'll show you a couple of locations, I might edit a few of these when we get back but yeah, I just thought I'd bring you guys along I've not been on a shoot in ages and it's just kind of put me in a bit of a downer because I want to get out, I wanted a lot more stuff like I said, I've got loads of spots in Sheffield I've not hit up I've got better ideas and stuff now and I just want to go out and do it like I've done my car to death and I'm not really fussed about shooting my car anymore. I want to shoot other people, make other people happy, make their car look really good. And yeah, I just got a little bit down on myself really. And I was just sat in the office just beating myself up. But hey hell, that's why I had to get out. It was one of the reasons. But quickly before we get started, the car is very I see very dirty boots. If I was going on a shoot, then I'd be annoyed because it's quite. I don't know if you can pick it up that well in camera. It's quite dusty. There's like flies and shit all over it. Because you know, let's pick it up a bit better on there on the roof. Yeah, it's still like dust and dirt and stuff. I wouldn't ever advise anyone coming to a shoot like this because you're not going to get the best reflections and stuff out your car and show it off how like glossy and whatever it is. But like I said, I just wanted to get out and they'll be good enough for instagram so okay let's get cracked on all right, boy. all right so i've pretty much wrapped up this location um i've actually took a mad shot there's holes in this bush and i've pretty i've just shot through the bush and i think it's gonna look sick um i was going to show you a little bit around here It's actually a really nice place for an industrial estate. It's really weird. It's really aesthetically, 
aesthetically pleasing turn to my missus. She can't say that either. But yeah, it's really, really nice for an industrial estate. Like, it's actually really cool. We're going to finish up here and then we're going to go to another location. I'll show you that one. Waffle probably some more a little bit about what angles I'm thinking of and what I'm thinking about location. Um, but in terms of potential for what I've got planned, yeah, like, this just slaps like this. It's just going to be class. Right, so these are the two that I'm most excited about. It's quite loud, it's quite a lot of cars. Uh, I just think I might have backed up a little bit. Building, you know, well, I'm probably going to run over in a minute as well. It's going to look really good. And then if we come over here, and this is the one that really caught my eye when I was on. Quickly cross the road, quick, 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 quick. I was on Google Street View which if you're not using your Google Street View to find locations, then you are missing out, right? I'll do a video on how I find locations in the future, but this is the one that got me like, I think this one is really cool. I'm just off the road a little bit so you can see. So down here, there's a little drop curb. And then if I spin around like leading lines, it's like, yeah. You know how much I love leading lines, as for the train line video. Yeah, sneak up on there. It's a bit quieter, like today. Might not do it today because we're running out of daylight. Um, I did want to get a shot of the sunset, but I'm probably going to have to go back over that way to get that. I'll grab a few here, and then that'll probably wrap this video up. If I'm going to edit a few of these, or I think this video is not long enough, or I think it's too long, we'll just cut it. And yeah, we'll see. Catch you in a bit. Oh, last location done. This swapping over lenses and stuff to talk to you guys is, is a right pain. On that, I do want to get a second camera so I can show you a bit more behind the scenes, so I can just stick it down somewhere and then we can do a time lapse of me like running around the car and stuff like that and then we can talk about it after and whatever. That's a future plan, but for now, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I did try and get a shot of the sunset. I think I got one here, but it'd have been better if I could go over there, but there's only bushes and stuff down that way and I don't think it'd make a good photo but I did get a photo with the windmill and stuff in background and I think that looks pretty good I think that's pretty cool but yeah I'm going to wrap this video up here guys I'm not going to show you guys an edit because I think the video is going to be long enough as it is yeah thank you guys for watching it's greatly appreciated if you like these videos of me just wandering around random locations and talking about my car and the angles and stuff that I'm thinking about taking then smash that like button Leave me a comment if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I'm probably going to do loads more anyway, but leave me a comment. It helps with the algorithm. And if you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing. With all that being said and done, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you lot in the next one. Bye.